very good morning to students this is munindra almagriya and uh, today we are going to start further with the php so first of all let me know guys uh, whether you can see my slide or not Am I audible? So, first of all, uh, let's get back to the revision of the previous session. Like, uh, as we know that uh, we already started with the PHP. What do you mean by the PHP? and uh, what are the benefits of the php why we are using of the php then uh, what are the variables of the php oh it's not visible okay wait 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 let me do that Okay, yeah, uh, uh, give me one minute. I'm going to show my screen. Is it visible now, guys?
dear students i am working on it please wait for a few minutes okay i'll be back soon to show my screen thank you
I audible? Hello? Hello? Am I audible? Is it visible to you all? Hello? Is it visible? Okay, so let's get starts with the uh, PHP. So first of all, uh, let's uh, revise. Uh, we did with the introduction part. We did with the indexing array. We did with the, what do you mean by the variables? How to store the variable? What do you mean by the scope of the variable? Uh, and uh, what do you mean by the, how many types of the array? Basically, we do have three types of the array. The very first one, uh, numerical index array. The second one, the multidimensional array. And the third one uh, would be associative array. So let's get starts with the associative array first today. So first of all, uh, how to define associative array? I would like to explain Still my screen is not visible. Let me check one more time guys. Sorry for the interruption Is it visible to you guys now, my screen? Hello? Is it visible? Okay, thank you. So let's get started with the associative array. Sorry for the delay, guys. Uh, first of all, I would like to explain to you by example, what do you mean by the associative array? So say for example, consider that uh, I do have a list of the subjects and uh, out of the 100 marks, I'm giving a marks to the particular students. So the example is uh, that uh, we can consider like uh, we want to know that uh, how many students are there and uh, those are students and they'll get uh, what about the marks. So consider the example like uh, a drain 95, Metty 93, Lenz 56, Stephen 70, Craig 65, and Andy 98. So, first of all, uh, I'm giving you some instructions in between the explanation. So, I want you to do the same. Like uh, over here, you can see this. Uh, This is a pale yellow color. You can see this. This is what how we can define the associative array. So over here, the dollar marks equals to array in the round brackets and in the double quotes, the adrain equals to greater than sign 93, comma for the same lens 56, Stephen 70, Craig 65, and Andy 98. So this is what uh, how we can define associative array. Now let's understand first uh, the syntax of this associative array. 
First of all, uh, what do you mean by this? The Adrian, Lance, Stephen, Craig, and Andy. What exactly this is? As you already aware with the indexed array, what was in the indexed array? So let's get back to that uh, slide. First of all, that uh, 95 value you can see in slide the 95 value which is stored on zeroth index, right? So we know that the zero it is an index and on that index we are going to store some value right so now what exactly in the associative array in the associative array you can map the value to the key so over here what do you mean by the key so let's get back to one more time indexing array when we are talking about the index like 0 1 2 3 and 4 actually basically this is the key right and the always the values are mapped with the key so in the associative array over here you can see this the name of the students are the key so over here the adrian lance stephen craig and andy these are the key right and you can consider the mark like 93 56 70 65 98 this is what my value and those value are supposed to be associated with the key so text uh, that's what's the uh, basic fundamental now continue with the associative array this is what the example okay so let's uh, run this example so you will have idea so as i was yesterday i was a pump user and now right now i'm working from my laptop so i'm a map user right now and uh, let's first of all start with the services all so as you can see this it includes the ms sql server as well as the apache server also first of all run this two server and you can see this that's what's my index.html file and uh let's run this example so you will have idea mm, okay let's uh let's start with a new file so php webinar file PHP. I'm going to open this file. Whatever the content of this file, I'm going to grab. And uh, now let's start with that basic example over here. PHP starting, PHP ending. That's what the practice we always do. And in that, I'm going to pick it up the first variable, the dollar marks equals to array. That's what my keyword as well as my function with the semicolon. And I'm going to write the name of the key over here, STU equals to greater than sign 20. That's what my first value. And I'm going to copy this. So that's what my second key value. And the values are associated with this value, which is 30. Uh, student 3. And the last value, which is 40. Uh, now let's start with the looping structure for loop and i'm going to pick up the new variable dollar i equals to starting from one then dollar i i need to give the conditions to where i need to scan dollar marks and I plus plus 
now i need to write the statements which are supposed to be executed for this loop so usually the dollar eco and i'm going to print my variable array so over here that's what my stu initial and dot dollar i which is the value now the string concatenation and then i am going to write my normal html code so what exactly the basic example is now i'm going to explaining the line by line as you can see this that's what the first how to define the associative array right the dollar marks equals to array st120 st230 and st3 equals to 40. now consider a for loop for i is equals to one i less than count right so it will scan and now over here the dollar marks as we know that my name of the key which is stu1 over here so i'll put it up the initial over here prefix stu now dollar i i starting from the one so stu1 then stu2 and stu3 and so on now let's run this example so you have no idea what exactly going on is and uh, let's find the file the php webinar.php you can see this right the 20 as well as 30. right so <clears throat> this is what the first basic example now uh, there are two ways to create an associative array so i want you to just note it down all of you that uh, how many ways to create an associative array this might be a why why question right definitely it is applicable to mu as well as the gtu also both and uh, you can see this that's what the first traditional way that we did or you can do like this so as you can see this like uh, uh, dollar h peter dollar h ben dollar h joe now consider if i'm going to write over here the zero one and two it will be the index array right but uh, uh, instead of writing that index zero one and two i'm going to write the name over here so that's what the associative array right so that's what the key peter and 35 which is associated with the peter 37 which is associated with the band and 43 which is associated with the joe so these are the two ways right that you can create or define associative array uh, that's what the example so let's run this example so you will have idea so <coughs> I'm going to rub the entire code and I'm going to start with the beta. So first of all, let's start with the dollar h equals to array. And I'm going to write the name of the key, which is Peter first. I'm 35. Then Ben, uh, sorry, equals to greater than sign uh, 37, then Joe equals to greater than 43. So that's what the first thing I define the associative array and I'm going to print now normal one of the values from this array Like say for example, I'm going to show the Peter's age. So Peter is uh, the string concatenation dollar age in the round brackets I need to give the value of the key over here. So the age Peter one more time string concatenation and uh, let's write uh, yeah so so let's run this example the same you can see this beta is 35 years old right so this is what the basic value uh, now 
the next concept for the associative array first of all let me write the code okay and uh, after that i'm going to explain you this is what the third example of the associative associative area we are doing over here like the dollar age equals to array i'm gonna write the same thing beta equals to greater than 35 then ban equals to 37 sorry and the joe <clears throat> equals to greater than 43 so you already aware with the for loop now over here for you one more concept for each loop what do you mean by the for each loop i'm going to explain first of all let me write the code <clears throat> This is what the syntax we need to write. <laughs> Name dollar x which is my key then age i'm going to write dollar x value that's what the semicolon and i'm going to print every time in a new row so first of all let's run the example let's see what exactly the output is okay and uh, then i'll back to to the code to explain this so run this example you can see this the name is peter age is 35 name is ban age 37 the name is joe and age is 43 so first let me know what exactly the for loop as a syntax the first part it would be an initialization part right that where i wanted to start means i equals to zero i equals to one i equals to two and so on whatever you want after that uh, the next is conditional part till where i till exactly i need to restrict so less than sign right then five four three whatever after that the last thing which is increment and the decrement operator so that's what the syntax of basic for loop now what exactly the for each is if i wanted to scan my this array it is also possible by using the for loop like what we did in a previous example right i am going to first of all take the count of this array right and i am going to uh given the condition that and the area will be scanning basis on this but what exactly the for each loop will do this is the benefit of the for each loop you can consider like if i wanted to scan the array from the starting to the ending point i can do that with the for each loop so for each loop will scan the entire array so that's what the syntax of the for loop for each loop over here the for each dollar edge which is considered my array as the dollar x which is my value over here like peter ban and joe equals to dollar x which is my value which is associated with that particular key so now i'm going to print both this value like echo name then dollar x the dollar x is nothing but it's my key over here and the age that's what my caption but is nothing but it's my value which is dollar x value so as you can see the output of this over here the name 
Peter, Ben, and Joe. So Peter, Ben, and Joe, these are the key which I'm going to print by using this and which are the values 35, 37, and 43 from here, okay? So that's what the main concept of the for each. So I uh, want you to write down one more instruction or the note like uh, difference between the four and the four each. It may be asked in two marks or it may be asked in four marks and uh, which is uh, based on the requirement. So if they may ask you in two marks, then first of all, what you need to write? First of all, what do you mean by the for loop? You can explain in a single one line and in for each loop, you can explain in one line. Later on, you can give the syntax, how the for loop has syntax and for each loop has syntax. That's it, no need to write more. If they ask you in only two marks, but what if they ask you in four marks? So the first two point is common. You're gonna write, what do you mean by the for loop? What is the syntax of the for loop? And then you need to write a small example, right? And that example will considered for the two marks. So the first two marks, which is a, the normal point, what do you mean by the four and the syntax that is considered the two point, I mean two marks, and then small example of the each four as well as four each will consider for the two marks, right? So that would be the four marks question as well as two marks questions will be generated from this topic. Uh, the letter on. Uh, this is what the second example of the associative array. The previously uh, we done by using a for loop, for each loop I mean, and the right now we are going to start with the each or why. So let me do first of all chord and I'm going to explain this. Okay, so I'm going to rub this example and I'm going to write the same thing one more time. Uh, dollar marks equals to array same example the previous one st1 20 30 and 40 so that's what the 20 that's how I define my area over here right and the echo now in this echo I'm gonna choose my table tag okay so the table Border. Say, for example, table border is one. Now I'm going to choose the while. This is what the syntax I'm going to explain. No need to worry. Just uh, see the code right now. The key as well as the value. That each <coughs> box. I'm going to print the value now by using echo. So the first is my first row, PR. Inside that first row, I do have a first column, TD. Okay, so that's what the TR starting, TR ending. And uh, inside that, I do have a first column, TD, TD, and the first column, which is I'm considering my key over here. And uh, I'm going 
to choose a second column over here right now td that's sort by value the last thing i'm going to print by using two row or normal slashing for the new line and uh, last but not least uh, i need to and my table and we can consider over here break row that's what is simple for us okay so what do you mean by the associative array we were with this but uh, the previous example was uh, associative array can run by the three ways the very first one you can use the for loop also which means you can scan the second one by using the for each loop and the third one by using a while but for the while loop you need to use list method in conjunction with each method keep in your mind so the associative whole associative array can be listed or scanned by two ways write down one more question how many ways we can scan the associative array first answer would be by three ways very first one by using for loop the second one is for each loop and the third one by using while loop but if i going to ask a question if i wanted to scan my entire array from starting to ending all values then by how many ways i can do that thing then your answer would be by two ways the very first one by using a for each loop and the second one by using a while loop and inside that while loop i'm going to use the list with each method so what i need to pass over here let's see while first list the methods right inside that i need to give a parameter the first parameter would be my key it's it is the name only and the second one which is my value and equals to each i need to give a value of the entire array which is my marks so next is echo first row first column which means trtd first is my key and the second which my value and let's run this example so you have an idea you can see this right the stu1 equals to 40. so let's get starts with the second example over here uh now uh, there is an instruction for the uh, web technology subject as you can see this right now i'm going to teach associative array and the sum of the topics after the associative array as per this slide will cover by some other faculties okay so the string manipulation functions as well as the all assignment operators logical operators the looping structure as well as the while structure and uh, i do have a question for you now right go through the slide and let me know what should be the expected output first of all read the questions carefully okay that's what my associative array example okay and if i am going to execute this code what would be the expected output as you can see this over right hand side a b c and d and i want you to replay what should be the expected answer you have four minutes to give this answer go ahead
I'm waiting for you guys to give replay. Give me the answer guys. What should be the answer? A, B, C, O, D, whatever. Please. Okay, I can see the one answer from Arman A. Option B, Sital, you are right. Tromilakar, Spagyas, you are wrong. D is wrong. Answer B, Kushi, correct. RACQSD, you are right. Answer C, wrong. True. B, you are right. Gaurav, correct. I'm not getting your question, Jai. Akshita, wrong. Savant, B, correct. Kishan, wrong. Siddhant, I'm going to repeat the question one more time. If I'm going to execute this code, what would be the probable output from this multiple answer? A, B, C, and D. Right? The answer is B over here. Why? Because that's what my <coughs> associative array user. Okay, I'm going to scan the entire array by using this. Now, if the dollar x is equals to nisar, if I'm going to find this value, then continue, which means it is not going to print the uh, statements after this. It will automatically get back to the one more time array, right? So it will print the drumil akas and I'm using continue over here. So it is going to skip the Nisarg and then it is going to print the myth. So the final answer is Drumil, Akas and myth. That's what the explanation of this question. Thank you for the response. Uh, appreciate it. And uh, as I've told you that uh, these are the looping structure as well as uh, the string manipulation functions will be covered by the other faculties. The server side input, which is also covered by the other faculties. And after that, uh, whatever the topic is there, I'm going to continue with this. So the PHP form and the user input. So first of all, uh, 
it is a topic of a php form handling so this is what we you can consider this is what the main part the database connectivity basic parts we can start from here so the php variables the dollar underscore get and the dollar underscore post variable that is used to retrieve the information from the forms like the user input so the php form handlings the most important thing to notice when we are dealing with html forms and the php the any form element in the html page will automatically available to the php scripts so as you can see this this is what the uh, sample example over here and for sample example uh, you can see this uh, uh, first line the form action is equals to php dash two dot php and the method is equals to post so just uh, revise a first unit what do you mean by the methods the request method as well as the response method right so we do have two methods the get method and the post method now everyone aware with the uh, when i'm going to submit the form all the information of the form which is visible in my url when i'm going to use a get method and uh, when i'm going to use a post method all those form information are not supposed to be visible in the url that's what the first and main key difference between the get method as well as the post method now i'm going to explain this example but wait for a while because i want you to go with the first uh, basic fundamental part mm -hmm. yes when to use a get method and when to use a post method so this is what the basic thing uh, when there is the information uh, that i wanted to display in a url at that time you can use a get method like uh, i'm giving you example uh, everyone is using facebook nowadays right so when you are looking for the someone in the facebook which means when you are going to find a friends on a facebook right and when you find that and when you click on this right so you can see this in the url facebook slash something 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 right so when you click on the any of the uh when you, any of the profile of the user you can see this the name of the profile will be visible in the url like so for example the munindra lunagriya right then facebook from your account facebook slash slash something munindra lunagriya will be visible and now when you go through the my profile right and when you are going to see the albums and the post and so on of my profile you can see this it will be visible in your url like slash 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 something okay so that's what the example of the get method but here we are talking about the php form handling so when to use a get method and when to use a post method so as we know that uh, in the php we are using the two variables the get variable as well as the post variable okay so when we are dealing with the get method we need to use dollar underscore get variable and when we are dealing with the post method at that time we need to use a dollar underscore post variable now the question is that uh, when to use get method you already aware with this okay and uh, when to use the post method which means uh, it is uh, you can consider the basic sense like uh, if i do have my data which is very much sensitive and which are not supposed to be visible in a url like if i am going to register myself to some organization consider the facebook example you can consider the facebook home page right uh, it has a very pleasant uh, choice of the colors as well as they do have a registration form on their home page right and when i'm going to register myself like i need to enter my username i need to enter my password 
I need to enter address, I need to enter the date of birth, I need to enter the gender and all, right? All are the information are a sensitive. And I'm, when I'm going to submit this page, all those information are not supposed to be visible on the URL. That's, a, that's why at this time, I need to use a post variable, okay? And these are the notes for the post that uh, maximum 8 MB of size for the post method. It is a by default and you can change. And for the get method, uh, the characters are not supposed to be exceeded in mean, uh, 2000 characters. So let's get the start with the example of the get method as well as the post method. So first of all, uh, I'm going to start with this first file and the second file. So first of all, let's get started with the get. I'm going to create a new file over here, so you have an idea. Dash one. So I'm going to run this example. That's what the second thing. Okay, now I'm going to write the code over here. Form starting. Form has a action part, and this action part is consider the name of the file dot php. So you will have idea method equals to get. I'm gonna choose the field over here. Type equals to text name of that text box. If we say, for example, first name and this, and the next type would be a hero, second age. Type is equals to text name of the text box the age and record to choose the third field. equals to text name of the text box would be an email and one more time you link okay. 
type is equals to submit so I'm going to choose a button and the value would be so let's run this file first of all so you will have idea <coughs> Sort the first file. So as you can see, this the name edge as well as the email. So if so, so for example, if I am going to write over here, like my name, my age, and uh, so for example, if I am going to enter, I am not going to click right now. Uh, in the submit because why the action part is remaining over here so that's what my action part is to fall I'm going to try with the welcome and then I'm going to get the value over here so the first part go Score get and going to print the first F name then uh, I'm going to print normal right now I'm going to write something like uh, you are PHP script starting PHP ending you are dollar underscore get the second which is age Yes, old. Okay. Your email ID is. So let's run this example. So when I'm going to submit this page, and uh, right now, as we know that the get variable and the post variable to collect the data from the one page. So when I'm going to click the submit. You can see the output over here. The welcome mode. You are years old, okay, and your email ID is. So as you can see this. Uh, the email. My email ID. So this page, you can see this. All information are passed through the URL, my name, my age, and whatever the answer is so this is what the uh, get variable now i'm going to give the example of the post variable so 
let's see the how it works yeah i think echo is not visible let me check the age is not visible Still not visible. Let me check. Don't know if it's not get. And uh, actually, I forgot to print the e cookie over here. Sorry, guys. Now you can see this. That's what my first name and uh, age years old and the email ID and all information are passed over here. So that's what the uh, get variable. Now we are going to start with the post method as well as the post variable. So let's get start with the post variable. So I'm going to choose over here, first of all, post method. Okay, so that's what the first change for this entire file. The rest of thing would be the as it is. And the other file over here, you can see this. Uh, I need to change the name of the variable only. I need to choose a post, dollar underscore post. Post dollar underscore post. Uh, that's the only change we required. Uh, let's run the same example. So right here, what exactly the output is. You can see this the first text box a uh, name, then age, and then email ID and all the information which is not visible in my url okay so first of all let me know does uh, anyone having questions regarding that and uh, those who question they can ask please go ahead yeah thanks for the response i forgot to write the echo many of you who are giving the response thank you thank you so much Rohi also panel so i can see this the many of the students are very active good to see you guys okay so uh the next webinar would be start on 11 30 for the dot net and uh, Professor Rajit will going to conduct the next session at 11.30 a.m. sharp. And uh, for the further webinar or, or the online classes will be announcement soon by your class counselor. So if uh, nobody having the questions, then we can end at our session over here. I'm repeating one more time if anyone having questions you can raise please the next session would be on dot net will start at the 11 30. okay thank you so much ah, please answer the question I, I, I am not getting your question can you repeat r a c q s d please Repeat the question. OK. 
can you repeat the answer for, for this associative array? Okay. Uh, uh, please write the question. So I'll answer properly for the associative array. I'm waiting. Smith Sharma, it seems you can can't read my question. Can you repeat the question, Smith, if possible, from your end, so I can give the answer? Okay, way to scan the associative error, RSEQST. Uh, associative error can be scanned by three ways. The first is you can go ahead to the for loop also. You can use the for each also and uh, you can use the while loop also but when you are going to choose a while loop you need to choose a two method list conjunction with the each method so the associative array can be read by two ways but usually nowadays at the programmer what they'll do when the associative comes in the picture they use the two methods only the for each as well as the while loop list conjunction with the each method Can we generate generic and non-generic array in PHP 2? I'm not getting your question properly. Generic in terms of the what you are asking basically. One dimension array, two dimension array. You can feel free to write. Go ahead, Smith. Smith, I'm waiting for you. Oh, ah, you're talking about data type. Yes, 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 we can do that. But uh, for that, uh, there are uh, array functions are there, like uh, array underscore type and the array underscore key type functions would be there for the generic. Yeah, you can create also. Yes. What are the methods for the while? List and each. List and each. So list and uh, list will be used with the conjunction with the each. Each method, RSEQST. Yes. Okay, does anyone having questions? Any more? So the next instruction will be announced soon for the next webinar. All are requested to read your emails as well as uh, messages in the WhatsApp group. Okay, uh, right now there is an instruction. One more time, I'm repeating 11.30 a.m. A .NET session would be going to start and uh, Professor Rajit Adwaryu is going to conduct. Okay, so see you soon, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you.